Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's on February 4th, and today I'm going to be reading out of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and the verse of the day is 14, and here's what it says. Either way, Christ's love controls us. Either way, Christ's love controls us, since we believe that Christ died for all your benefit. Okay, no. I messed that up. Here we go. Either way, Christ's love controls us since we believe that Christ died for all. We also believe that we have all died to our old life. <clears throat> Today's title is The Overmastering Majesty of Personal Power. I think today's going to be a good topic. <clears throat> it really is. So, the title of uh, chapter 5 in my Bible is New Bodies. So, and then the second one's going to be We Are God's Ambassadors. So, let's see what we have to talk about this morning. This is, this is really powerful and I'm feeling it right now and Dear Lord, just guide me in my lips as I read this word and just bless us today. And just I know you're with us everywhere we go and no matter what we do. And I'm so grateful for that. And I know that having you in our life and as a pathway and our direction holder is we can stand against anything. And as long as we're giving you our hearts every day and seeking you through this word right here. We can do anything. So, thank you, Lord, for another great morning here. And let us be drawn to your heart. And let our hearts be drawn to you. And just for, forge us into the person you need us to be. And our new bodies. And let us be the ambassadors for you. In your heavenly name, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright, you guys. So, Chapter 5, New Bodies. For we know that when this earthly tent we live in is taken down, that is when we die and we leave this earthly body, we will have a house in heaven, an eternal body made for us by God himself and not by human hands. We grow weary in our present bodies and we long to put on our heavenly bodies like new clothing. For we will put on heavenly bodies we will not be spirits without bodies. While we live in the, these earthly bodies, we groan inside, but it's not that we want to die and get rid of these bodies that clothe us. Rather, we want to put on our new bodies so that these dying bodies will be swallowed up by life. God himself has prepared us for this, and as a guarantee, he has given us his Holy Spirit. So, we are always confident even though we know that as long as we live in these bodies, we are not at home with the Lord. For we live by believing and not by seeing. Yes, we are fully confident, and we would rather be away from these earthly bodies, for then we will be at home with the Lord. So whether we are here in this body or away from this body, our goal is to please Him. For we must all stand before Christ to be judged. We will each receive whatever we deserve for the good or evil we have done in this earthly body. It's powerful what he's saying. Um, so through your walk, in my experiences, in my testimony and everything, in my, my relationship with God is, you know, you can put your body through hell and death on this earth. Or you can do the right thing and put your body and live longer. Now, I haven't been the best in my temple, that's for sure. And, and I'll admit that to anybody. And maybe maybe you haven't either, but what you can do today is become a new person by just laying your life down to God, professing that Jesus Christ has died for you and He's your Savior. And that's where you start. Today is the day of salvation. And then, once you do that, then you can find a new network of people that really want to help change your life, really bring you to the Word of God and have you learn a new way of living. 
this new way of living is, is just an amazing path and it's the way we all need to come to it says that this is the word of life this is the truth everything that he says is going to come true he's the same yesterday today and forever so with all that you should just have faith to lean on God in everything you do and just lay your life to him and let him take control of your life and I, I promise you your life will change and if you're still you know skeptical and everything you shouldn't be because you know I I've given my life to God at, when I was 18 and when I was baptized as soon as I got baptized that's when my life started getting really hard uh, the devil was really sought sought after me and I'll tell you what he's done a lot of destruction in my life but I'm learning how to heal from it now and there's a lot of problems I've overcome and I am overcoming right now and if it wasn't for the grace of God and everything he's done for us and I don't even know if I'd be even preaching this word right now or even reading it this morning that's the power of God actually last night I got with a really close friend of mine I haven't seen him in years and we went and worshiped um, and we prayed at this prayer meeting it's called prayer and worship and I've never been to anything like it in my life it was absolutely amazing and insane that there's so many people out there that are praying for everybody in this world today and just to be a part of that and worship in the Lord's name was just amazing but just if you guys are ready to give up that earthly earthliness in yourself and give your life to God, I mean, today's the day. And if you need help, I can help you. I know plenty of people that are willing to help and help you grow into a new person for God. So let's go to the next uh, subheading here. We are God's ambassadors. Because we understand our fearful responsibility to the Lord, we work hard to persuade others. God knows we are sincere. And I hope you know this too. Are we commending ourselves to you again? No. We are giving you a reason to be proud of us. So you can answer those who brag about having a spectacular ministry rather than having a sincere heart. If it seems we are crazy, it is to bring glory to God. And if we are in our right minds, it is for your benefit. Either way, Christ's love controls us. Since we believe that Christ died for all, we also believe that we have all died to our old life. We died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ, who died and was raised for them. So we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. So stop evaluating people from your point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view. How differently we know him now. That's right. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. And all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead. Come back to God. For God made Christ and who never sinned to be the offering for our sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Ain't that great? So once you give your life to Christ, you can use all your past and everything that you've done that's bad and you change and then you can use it to help other brothers and sisters and anybody that needs the Lord and just be that light in the darkness. So, I'm going to go here to my utmost first highest. So the title for today again, I'm going to repeat it. The Overmastering Majesty of personal power. Um, I'm already blessed by reading this today. I, I know you guys are too. Paul says, 
he is overruled, overmastered, held in a vice by the love of Christ. Very few of us know what it means to be held in a grip of, by the love of God. We are held by the constraint of our experience only. The one thing that held Paul until there was nothing else on his horizon was the love of God. The love of Christ constraineth us. When you hear that note in a man or woman, you can never mistake it. You know that the Spirit of God is getting unhindered is getting an hindered way in that life. When we are born again of the Spirit of God, the note of testimony is on what God has done for us, and rightly so, but the baptism of the Holy Ghost liberates that forever. That's that I'm I'm telling you, I've been feeling the Holy Ghost everywhere I go, guys, and that's 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 right there is how you that's how you really connect with the Lord. And we begin to realize what Jesus meant when he said, You shall be witnesses unto me. You know, when I went and prayed last night and worshipped, I'm I'm not even joking you guys right now. My whole body was seriously on fire. I've like I could feel God uh, in there. And my face, my, literally my face was just so, I couldn't, I can't explain the feeling I had. And, you know, I was shaking, you know, like, God, if you let God work in your life and everything you do, I'm, I'm telling you, he's always there. He's been there this whole time and it's just, it comes down to you. Do you want to be a slave to his righteousness? And it, and it starts today. Not witnesses to what Jesus can do. The Holy Ghost liberates that forever. And we begin to realize what Jesus meant when he said, Ye shall be witnesses unto me. Not witnesses to what Jesus can do. That is an elementary witness. But witnesses unto me. We will take everything that happens as happening to him, whether it be praise or blame, persecution or com com commendation. No one can stand like that for Jesus Christ who is not constrained by the majesty of his own personal power. It is the only thing that matters. And the strange thing is that it is the last thing realized by the Christian worker. Paul says he is gripped by the love of God. That is why he acts as he does. Men may call him mad or sober, but he is he does not care that there is only one thing he is living for, and that is to persuade men of the judgment seat of God and of the love of Christ. This abandon to the love of Christ is the one thing that bears fruit in the life, and it will always leave the impression of the holiness and the power of God, never of our personal holiness. You know, I know there's a lot of guys out there just so skeptical and oh if, if if God was this then then why would he do this or like you know negative you know you know realistically you can look at it that way but realistically we we as a people sinned and when we chose our ancestors chose to sin and live that life we broke God's deal with us to live that perfect life in harmony on earth. And, you know, we did it to ourselves. And we keep blaming God for it. And you can't blame God for it. He, he gave us life. He gave us that option to live that life. And for us to even say that, that's like slapping him in the face. And we're not even worthy enough to even go to heaven. Even if you're the most holiest person on the earth. And when I say that, I mean like, we're, we're just, we're, we're dirt, you know. We're nothing to God. Nothing. But we are. Because he said we are. See, we're nothing, but we're, we're the most important thing. And our soul is the most important thing to him. And to give, give, what, give our hearts in our minds, in our soul, to Him every single day. That's the that's the number one thing 
you can do in your life for your whole life to change and for your whole mentality and being positive and finding your spirituality for God and growing in that that way that's how that's how you're going to grow faster and be a better person for this world and be a light that darkness you you have to lay down that earthly tent to to earn your godly body you know it's it's a process some people are in a different place in their mind cuz i've been there and you know i get it you're not never going to get it yourself i'll tell you that right now though you just need to have faith and start believing now there's no reason why you shouldn't no reason. No reason to be scared. I'm telling you right now, every single person in church, every single person in God, God, I'm telling you right now, every single one of us, I want to be there to help you through whatever it is. And all it takes is just you to come. Lay it down. Yeah, you, you might not trust us. Well, I'll tell you what, we trust God. I'm telling you, there's just a, there's some simple things that he's told us to do, and and one of them is to treat people how you want to be treated. You know, if I if somebody came to me with a serious problem, and I know I had a problem, I wouldn't want anybody else to know about it, but I would want to help help myself with that problem. So that's what I would do for you. I would, I would help you with that problem, and. And not just me, I know a bunch of people, or I might not even have the answer, but I know, might know somebody who does, or a connection to somebody who does. And this whole network of, of us together is just so strong in the goodness and the light of the world. And, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just, if, you, if you've never seen it, I see it all the time now, and it's just... Waking up every day is just a blessing to be a part of it. So, anyways, you guys, God loves you. He really does. And I pray, I'm going to pray for every single one of you today. And I hope that you guys, you guys find God. I mean, have Him he is your best friend in your heart and everywhere you go. And He's there for you. He's always been there for you. And He never will be gone from you. It's just you have to let Him in your heart. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this message today and just be with every single person watch, watching this and not watching this. and Just guide them to you. And let them see that you are the, the way maker and the, the light bringer and the darkness and the, the life changer. And You just are just an amazing, amazing person. Or not person, but a God. I, I just for you to do what you've already done and all the sacrifice you've made just to save us as a people is just unbelievable after even creating us and you know I, I can go go on and on I just want to pray for all these people who need you Lord lead them this way in your heavenly name I pray in Jesus name I pray Amen God bless you all and I hope you Hope to God and you guys have an amazing day today and just be safe out there and try to try to treat somebody with some love you've never done before. It don't even have to be somebody you know. Just just try to pass it on. Alright you guys. Have a blessed day.